Ahoy mateys! Captain Eric here of the I'm Ready, a SpongePod Squarecast, and this is the very first Bikini Bottom Box. SpongeBob's very first subscription box, as far as I know, uh, right from Culturefly. Uh, I've been absolutely infatuated with their work that they've done on the Nick box, and as a SpongeBob fan, I am happy to see SpongeBob getting his own uh, subscription box because, come on, we, we could all use a little bit more SpongeBob products in our lives. All of the items in this box are completely exclusive to the Bikini Bottom box, which, as I mentioned, is a subscription-based service. Now, I am not sponsored by Culturefly, so anything I say is just completely my own opinion. Now, if you are interested in signing up for the Bikini Bottom box, you can go to the nickbox.com in which you are given a selection on either the Nick box or the Bikini Bottom box. They are their own separate boxes. Um, and they are sent quarterly, so it is four boxes a year, which is not is not that bad. It's not like you're getting one of these every single month. Uh, so four times a year, you have something really fun to look forward to. And if you subscribe to both, like I do, then you have eight things to look forward to in the year, uh, which means just a lot more fun things to open. Now, the one thing I've always been complimentary on Culture Fly on are just the overall design of these boxes. Um, some people throw these boxes out. Others, like myself, are infatuated with how they're designed. Um, as you can see, this one has a postcard from Spongebob on the front. Greetings from Bikini Bottom. We have a nice little overhead shot of Bikini Bottom on the bottom of the box. We have a, uh, uh, of course, the Spongebob logo with some of that wood design like it's seen in the logo there, um, which is a nice touch, actually. Uh, on the sides, we just get these like little triangle designs, which are pretty neat. And then the back of the box is just this kind of um, like sand shot seemingly at night of Bikini Bottom. Uh, we don't see the town, but I mean, where else is this going to be other than the bottom of the ocean? But we also have Steven Hillenburg's signature there. Lovely to see. But let's get this thing open. All right. Now, unlike the winter box, I did kind of take a little peek at this when it first came in. So uh, this isn't the very first time I've opened this, uh, but I didn't really take many things out. Um, and Culturefly's design of these boxes not only is in the outside, but always goes through the inside. They always put in some extra effort to design these boxes. And when you have a box with SpongeBob, the most obvious thing is to just design SpongeBob himself. So here he is on the inside flap of the box. And here we have some of our items. Now, the first thing is there's always these little cards that come with your uh, Nick boxes. And of course, this is being the first bikini bottom box. They followed suit with a similar design, which gives you all of it, uh, all of the items that you're getting in this box on this little card. It's a nice little, um, if you don't want to keep the boxes, it's a nice little memento that is easy to store so you can kind of remember, um, oh yeah, I owned this box and here are all the items that came with it. So even if you get rid of these items, it's a nice little like memory right here. This is, this is pretty cool. So I always love those. I appreciate those. Thank you, Culturefly. Um, now there's a lot of logo here, as you can see. Let me um, move the box so you can see it here. Uh, there's a lot of Spongebob logos, but we're going to start with the first item that is not a Spongebob logo. We actually have a Chum Bucket bucket hat. Um, this is a blue bucket hat. We also have the Spongebob logo right on the top there, the CB for Chum Bucket. And then I believe on the right side of the hat... We get, if you can see, Plankton. I don't know why I'm not using the big camera. <laughs> uh, these are improvised as much as I can. Uh, but yeah, there's Plankton right there on the bucket hat. And look, this really, this is not my design to hat. I will never see myself wearing one of these in public. Look at that. That just, ah, uh, I don't know. I could rock that hat. Um... I mean, this is cool. Just knowing about the bucket helmets and the fact that this this kind of hat is called a bucket hat, it's it's a perfect fit for it to be a chum bucket hat. So just one of first amazing things in this box. We are going to pull out. Now, the other thing that I got to give Culture for Lie credit for, and, and I will say this in any box, the, the one thing I love that they do are these vinyl figures. They've done a bunch of them throughout the run of the Nick box so far, and they're starting out strong here with the SpongeBob uh, Bikini Bottom box. We have a vinyl figure of SpongeBob SquarePants uh, looking at a map, looking, uh, looking a little dapper there in his hat with his briefcase. Um... 
the uh, design here follows the same design on the side of the boxes with a lot of those triangles. But the one thing that's funny on the back of the box has a bunch of these really intricate SpongeBob designs. Look at that. I mean, that on its own is a work of art. You could get that as a poster, and that would be pretty cool to hang up in your house. Um, but what's really funny, hand wash only, do not microwave. Uh, I repeat, do not microwave your SpongeBob figure. Um, now, with this, it looks like he's on his way to Bikini Bottom. It's actually called Traveling SpongeBob Vinyl Figure with Bass. So uh, maybe he's just traveling. But it kind of like, think about this. This is like SpongeBob's first day coming into Bikini Bottom. I know it's not supposed to be that, but I mean, that's kind of cute. So we got a nice little SpongeBob Vinyl Figure here. Always a treat. Let's take out another one of these. This was now, this was one of the leaks I saw of the Bikini Bottom box, and this was the, the one that made me go all in for it. Other than being a SpongeBob fan, this is a pencil holder with a built in sharpener. Um, this one I'm actually going to take out of the box so I can show you. Uh, there, in all of these boxes, there's at least one very useful household item, and this is it for this box as far as I've seen so far, but this excites me. So, we have SpongeBob's Pineapple here. Once again, don't know why I'm not using the big fancy. SpongeBob's Pineapple, it's got a nice, I mean, it's definitely not plastic. It's like a hard rubber feel. So we got SpongeBob's Pineapple, and inside the chimney, pencil sharpener. Look at that. Um, I love, this is just such a cute, Little thing to add on to your desk. Um, of course, the top part of the pineapple is not there because that's where you're going to put all of your pencils. So when they're all sticking out, if you get a bunch of green pencils, it'll look like SpongeBob's pineapple. But, I mean, look at this. I, I don't imagine now as, a, as an artist, um, I'm very picky with pencil sharpeners. I, I can't imagine this coming in to, uh, to too much use with other pencil sharpeners I own. But... It's always good to have an emergency pencil sharpener around the house. And if uh, and if it's holding your pencils, you can't really m misplace this. So uh, absolutely love this item. Um, man, whoever whoever's working up there and coming up with these ideas, I want to be a part of this team. But the next item we have here is a boating school mug of Mrs. Puff's boating school. So you can be like Mrs. Puff and... Uh, I don't know. She seems like a heavy coffee drinker. So this is something right up the alley there. Um, the, that design is is wonderful on all the packaging. Um, all right, next up, we get a little crusty crab enamel pin. Let's see if we can try to get that somewhat centered. And almost got it. Boom. So there we go. If you're a pin collector, that's something pretty cool. I... Uh, I am not a pin collector, and they're just so small, and I don't have anything to really put pins on. If I had, like, a, a jean jacket vest, I would definitely want to put pins on that. Uh, another big thing you always get in these boxes, you get some sort of, of nice apparel item. We've gotten winter hats before. We've gotten scarves, T-shirts, hoodies, long sleeve shirts, and this one is no different. We actually get a nice um, blue Krusty Krab T-shirt. Look at that. This is one I will hold up. So it's got the Krusty Krab on there um, since 1999, right on it. And here's the best thing. I didn't even show you the best thing. But let me get that in camera. The Krusty Krab. And right on the back, people order our patties. Boom. I mean, that's a t-shirt on its own. You could have just gotten away with this, but this is on the back of the shirt. So... That is an absolutely cool SpongeBob shirt. And last but not least, we have the recipe for a Krabby Patty. This is a cookbook to teach you how to make a Krabby Patty. No, I'm actually lying to you. Uh, this is just a journal, but uh, man, what a cover. Recipe for a Krabby Patty. So you can write all of your, uh, your secrets in here and then hide it in your secret box.
which I can do right here. Um, and then, of course, the SpongeBob design continues on the inside of the box here. Uh, absolutely wonderful job uh, from Culturefly on this bikini bottom box. Um, I mean, reminder, this is this is uh, fairly inexpensive. You're getting a pencil holder. You're getting a mug. You're getting a T-shirt. You're getting a hat. Um, you're getting a pin. This is, this is a lot of cool stuff that you can put around your house. So if you know somebody who is a SpongeBob fan, I implore you to sign up for these boxes. Um, once again, not sponsored by Culturefly. I would absolutely love to be sponsored by them. Um, but, you know, right now, this is just, I'm a fan. I'm always a fan of these. And even if I were to become sponsored, this is, th these are things I'm going to get regardless. Um, uh, for me personally, a lot of these just don't get use in my home. Um, but even just as decoration, something like if you're even not going to use this to its fullest extent, um, just getting a bunch of green colored pencils just to put in the top here and display just so people can see, oh, yeah, that's cute. It's a pencil sharpener. Um, I, it, it has more uses than just uh, being a pencil sharpener. But that is going to be this unboxing of the Bikini Bottom box. Um, after this releases, I should be up to date, and I will be able to have uh, unboxings closer to the releases of the uh, of the future Nick boxes and Bikini Bottom boxes. Um, the uh, first boxes of 2021 should be coming in any week now, so uh, be sure to take a look for future unboxings of both the Bikini Bottom box, the Nick box, and of course episodes of the podcast. Like this video, subscribe, uh, follow us on all various forms of social media you can see on the bottom of the screen there, and thank you for joining us. We will see you next time.